the word Kumba and the African dialect means roar, and it lives up to its name in a book that was posted in the park. If you are wondering how it manages to make it sound, it has hollow rails and nylon wheels. Most posters have rails of the sand to dead in the knees. This coaster is 142 feet tall. It travels at 60 miles an hour and flips you upside down seven times, just like the Mach 2. Coming up on the right hand side, I can feel the temperature going. We're about to get out of time in the river rapids. The river rapids feature a free-floating circular rapid that holds 12 people at a time. It's a quarter mile long with waterfalls, geysers, and big caverns. So look at that. It's not completely soaked if you decide to do that. Some people ride with rain jackets on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As we cross over this service road, we'll be entering the back of the Jungala area of the park. We have Fangle Tigers, or any tanks, flying boxes. And on the right, I see one of our bongo. Bongo are a kind of endangered antelope that were thought to be extinct for a long time. Eventually, they were rediscovered by scientists in the 1950s. They're only found in remote areas of Canada, and they're known as the ghost of the forest. On the left, if you look high up in the sky, in the netting, you can find our flying boxes, also known as springbacks. They are the largest of the flying mammals, with wingspans up to 6 feet wide. They can reach the 13 inches tall. They're called the flying box because they're faces with red wheels. Thank you. 